Am I the a-hole for refusing to change bikinis after my husband had asked me to wear a thong? Okay, so, yesterday was my husband's birthday we're both 22 and he wanted to have some friends over for some pool time. Thought it was just gonna be a chill time, I'd cook for them, etc. Yesterday afternoon he asked if I could wear a thong bikini because he wanted to show me off to his friends. Now I have no problem wearing something that revealing when it's just the two of us, but I always opt for more coverage when we have company. But I felt bad saying no to him on his birthday, so I told him that I'd do it. So I put it on about a half hour before his friends arrived, and he was thrilled which made me feel a little bit better temporarily, but then he asked if I could take the bra pads out. I told him I really didn't want to do that but he asked a few more times and I relented, but I was getting upset at this point. His friends come over I'm bringing them food and beers, and about an hour and my husband comes inside while I'm in the kitchen and says he doesn't like how much his friends are looking at me and that he wants me to change into a different bathing suit. I told him that I wasn't gonna change, that he'd wanted me in next to nothing even when I didn't want to be, and that's what he was gonna get. His friends left a few hours later and we got into a big fight, we're somewhat resolved now, but I just feel weird. I guess I'm just looking for unbiased opinions, am I the a-hole here? And any ideas what I should do going forward if something like this happens again? My husband gave me a warning tap and I called it abuse. Am I the a-hole? As I am writing this I am laying in bed with my mom. She's helping me gather my thoughts for some other opinions. I am 24 and my husband is 30. We've been together for three years and married for one. This is a throwaway account just in case. About a week ago my husband and I got into an argument over his phone which he had misplaced. I was in the shower when he lost it and when I came out he was throwing a fucking fit over it. He was like where did you put it? Have you seen it? Angrily yelling and snapping. I said I hadn't touched it and I needed to get dressed. My husband was standing in the doorway looking behind the door so I couldn't open it. I said hello, move please. Apparently my tone was rude because my husband turned around and shoved me into the room. I was like okay you need to calm down I can help you look but I gotta get dressed. He tells me to hurry up. I snap back. I'm not gonna hurry up. It isn't my fucking fault. My husband turned around and hit me on my mouth with the back of his hand. It didn't even really hurt but I was appalled. He called it a warning tap because of my attitude. I left right then and there. I called my mom and went over her house. My brother took me over the next day to get a few things. My husband asked me if all this is really necessary and I said yeah it is when you abuse your wife. He was so stricken that I called it abuse. He screamed at me for it. He said I can ruin his career if I use that word. I know that I can and I know that he didn't even hurt me, but that's how I feel. He sent me several texts threatening to divorce me if I use that word again or try to hurt his career by saying it to someone important. Am I the a-hole for saying this, potentially citing this, and potentially ruining his career? Am I the a-hole for starting the divorce process after finding out my daughter isn't mine? My life feels like a bad drama show at the moment. For some context, I'm 33 and my wife is 30 and we have been married for seven years and what I thought was our daughter is three. Looking back, this all started after my wife gave birth to her daughter. She suddenly became a lot more affectionate to me, was a lot more active with me in the bedroom life. She also made my favorite desserts a lot more often she is a fantastic baker. I of course didn't suspect anything since even prior to her pregnancy there were no signs of cheating but also possibly could be that just didn't look close enough into it. Well this whole fiasco started two weeks ago after a day out with her daughter and she just sat me down in the evening and came clean about the fact that her daughter wasn't mine her waterworks of course also started and apparently it was a guy from the gym and it lasted a month before he disappeared on her after he found out she was pregnant. Honestly, even typing this now I feel like crying since I thought I did everything perfectly but she still cheated. As much as I wish I could say I had a stone face or something I just started crying and she tried to comfort me but I just pushed her away I felt so disgusted with her. 
After I had calmed down a bit, I just grabbed my jacket and left for a hotel. And while I was leaving, she just begged and pleaded me to forgive her and that I was the only father her daughter knew. After crying myself to sleep in the hotel the next day after I turned my phone back on, I had seen she had blown up my phone and I didn't read any of it and just blocked her. I, after having a little bit of breakfast, contacted a lawyer to start the divorce process and at work I just asked for some time off and my boss gave me a month off. By the evening, my mom and sister were calling me on her behalf and were on her side and that just hurt me even more. While I'm not proud to admit this, I did drink myself to sleep that night. After that night, I started staying with my best friend and my mom and sister kept spamming and calling me. A few days later, after she probably got the divorce papers, my mom just sent me a long text that to summarize was that I should step up and forgive her and not abandon my daughter and that she would disown me if I went through with the divorce. My sister and mom are against me divorcing her, but my best friend and his wife are saying I have the right to not want to be with her or take care of her kid. I'm split on this. On one hand, I did raise the baby for three years. On another, I don't know if I could in the right mind raise the reminder of my wife's affair. To put some context, my sister is infertile, so I think that's also partly why my mom doesn't want me to continue the divorce since she will lose her grandchild. Am I the problem for refusing to attend my little sister's wedding because of her father assaulting my wife years ago? I have a sister Vivi who is closer in age to my children than me, but we've always had a good relationship. Vivi's father Chase is a piece of shit. Basically my mum claims they aren't together to look good for career purposes, but they just always happen to be together. He behaves like an overgrown frat boy always looking to get a rise out of someone. That being said he loves Vivi and was a great father, and of course she loves him. I don't blame her. I've been no contact with Chase for 19 years ever since he poured a bottle of wine on my now wife at our engagement party. She was humiliated and a special night for her was ruined. I told my mum that I don't care if he is Vivi's dad, I will not be around him. My mum respects that as she just swears they aren't together but now Vivi is getting married and they are expecting me to drop my no contact and attend the wedding. I explained that I have no hard feelings towards Vivi or my mum, but I won't have that man around my family for any reason. My mum says I am being an asshole to Vivi and he would never pull anything at his own daughter's wedding, 